Welcome back to Tink Bing, check it out. I'm Tink, she's Bing, and we're checking out RC cars. I've been looking on online and at a lot of the YouTube videos, and the cars are all running around, especially the crawlers. Everybody's got these little license plates on. Sometimes you can go online and order a custom license plate, which is kind of cool. Have them put your name on it or whatever, have it from your state. Very nice. Well, I decided it'd be even a step better if I just grabbed an old license plate that used to actually be on my car. So this is a Florida plate that used to be on one of my vehicles that was out in the garage. So it's expired and no good to me anymore, but I thought it would be kind of cool. So I threw it on my, um, my copy machine on the computer room and I made a copy of it at 25% the size. It was still way too big. So I copied again, at, again, 25% that size. Now we're, now we're getting there, right? So now I've got a really nice small little license plate. So what you do is you just copy your license plate. You cut it out nice and neat with a pair of scissors. Just takes a minute. Carefully cut that out. I'll just lay it down on the table there. Put a piece of tape over it just to protect it. Now we'll cut the tape out around it like so so we just have a little bit of tape left that we can tuck over the back side to protect the back side of it also so we're just leaving a little bit excess trim this up real nice now I'm actually going to cut the corners here just cut the corners out like that don't know if you can see that or not on the camera, but I'm just cutting out the corners. Boom, boom, pull that piece out. Go to the next corner. Boom, boom, pull that piece out. Boom. Oh, there we go. Pull that piece out. And that's just going to allow you to take the excess, tuck it over, fold it over on the top, Fold it over on the bottom, fold it over on each side. Your license plate stays the same size, and now you've got a nice little protection on it. So now we're gonna take one, I've already got one cut out that was all ready. And so now you can take this from wherever state you are from, or whatever country you are from, and you can glue it onto your vehicle. Now, most people would glue this right on there, but, a cool power wagon here. I'm not going to do that because I am from Florida and we don't put license plates on the front of our car in Florida. So my license plate will go on the back of my little truck bed right around here somewhere. So I'll just take a little super glue and I'll glue it on there. So I'm gonna take some CA glue. And I'm just gonna use some thick CA glue here. Just spread a little couple drops on there spread it around just a little bit now i'm going to grab this with something that i can actually control it with like a little tweezers there we go make sure i've got it upside right i'm not sure if that's a real word or not but i use it all the time and i like it upside right just makes sense to me there we go so i'm just going to take my super glue I'm just going to hold that on the back. Oops. And that may take a little while to set up. I can feel it setting up already. Check it out. <laughs> okay, now I have my license plate from one of my old vehicles onto my actual RC car. And that just kind of feels cool. Nobody else has got this license plate on their car. And of course, being from Florida, nothing on the front, just a license plate on the back. There's your tip for the day. Make your own license plate out of your own license plate. Have fun with that one, guys. Take Bing out.